Hello everybody and welcome back to Alma, Missouri. God, it feels like it's been a while since I've been on this one. This is only episode 8, I've been doing it quite a while now and I'm only on episode 8. Yeah, I need to put a bit more effort into this series I think. But, <laughs> this white stuff might slow that down a little bit. Look at how much of it there is. Oh, it's, it's, it's nearly going into my house. Shut the door, keep the heat in him. Wow, see how deep this snow is. Wow. This is deep. It's burying my fence. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had quite a few warnings that it gets quite bad on this map. And I thought because I've had a little bit of snow in Keep It Real in that French map, I was kind of used to it, but th this is a whole new level. Those poor chickens. Look at him, look. He's having like a snow bath. Wow, this is deep though. This is really deep. So I was today, <laughs> change of plan by the look of it, I was today thinking it would make sense in the kind of downtime, between kind of winter passing and us being able to get into the field and do some planting, I thought maybe I could do some mulching, because I've not really done that before. I've never seen a huge benefit to it, but if there's nothing else to do, you might as well get those few little percents, haven't you? But, wow. I don't I don't think you can mulch in this, surely. Surely not. See how deep it is. It's nearly buried the sorghum. Wow. Yeah, th this is by far the worst, in, in a good way, the worst snow I've seen on this game. I thought Edgewater was quite bad. This this is different. This is a whole new thing. This is deep. Oh dear. So I don't know what we're actually going to do today then. What I have done is loaded this up through a multiplayer server. So that is all up and running. I've just popped out a little message to see if anyone is about. It's kind of a random time early in the morning on a Thursday. It's probably not the best day to catch anyone. But you never know. You never know. If someone's available and they want to jump on, at some point you might see a little notification to say someone's joined. Yeah. I hope they pick the right kind of vehicle though in this snow. Don't underestimate that. You might need to pick that truck up from the the kind of higher station. I certainly don't think a motorbike's any good today. <laughs> this is really bad. This is really bad. Right, so let's change plans from a mulcher to a snowplow, I guess. Wow. Um, okay. Nothing of interest in there. You show, I mean, that is of interest, but we don't need that currently. I do like a telehandler, though. What I need to look at is see whether or not something works with the plow. Does that pickup truck work with the plow? Oh, the little John Deere Gator does, though, but I bet that's pathetic, isn't it? Two meters. Yeah, we'll spend the whole entire episode just trying to plow one little bit. What do we have here? So, I'm tempted, you know. Actually, don't go with a plow. Let's try one of these out. But I don't know what the difference is here, because one of them is a mod, one of them is not. But in terms of specifications, they're identical. What's the difference? What is the difference? I'm I'm thinking, I mean it's nine and a half thousand. This series doesn't have leasing, of course. This is that crossplay series with slightly different rules. So no loans, no leasing. So we're gonna have to buy it, but it's only nine and a half thousand. We've probably already got that amount actually sat back at the bakery and more bread to sell because that's obviously continued producing. Won't necessarily be selling it at its best price, but we could sell that whenever we needed to. I think we need to try this. I think we need to try this. And potentially I could still fit that to the gator. I don't know. But we have a tractor either way that could do it. Right, let's just buy it. Straight into spending big money. And when I say big money, that's obviously not big money. But compared to keep it real, 
That is big money. That is big money. In fact, that what we've just spent then is more than what we've had in Keep It Real for, for quite a long time. Although that's starting to get very good. Keep It Real is exciting me at the minute. We've got a couple of decent plots of land. Managed to get that extra plot of land, which hopefully you would have seen. I'm sure you would have seen that by now. With some trees on it. Right now. Okay, we can't use that. And we definitely cannot use that. So we're going to have to use the, the John Deere. The more powerful John Deere. Which is fine. It's going to be a bit overkill though for what we're about to do. Right, let's get this started up. Let's make our way down towards the shop. So yeah, in the meantime, I hope everyone is well. I'm doing pretty good. My voice is still going. As potentially you can still tell, I don't know. But for me, it's hurting a little bit. And it's right on the edge. And I've still got to somehow... Somehow... Try and get a roleplay story mode recorded. Or ideally, I, I wanted to get two done. I wanted to do like a double whammy weekend thing again. Because that worked out quite well. Kept the momentum going. Had quite a, a decent amount of views. But... I don't know... The, I think I'm going to have to limit the amount that Terry and Travaskis are doing in it. Because, yeah, I, I think it might be a bit of a struggle to try and do those voices. When I can barely even do my own voice. So yeah, trying to do those could be hard. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Now, I don't know if anyone is planning on joining yet. I might have to check my YouTube notifications again in a moment. But either way... It's going to be a bit of a boring day in comparison to what I thought we could be doing anyway. So, potentially a little bit of snow plowing, a bit of snow blowing actually. I should stop saying plowing. Do some snow blowing. And then we may just be at a point where I just move it forward a month. Which I don't tend to do mid-episode. In fact, I don't think I've ever done that mid-episode. But what else can you do? This isn't a kind of role-play type series. This isn't an ultra-realistic series. So, I think skipping it forward a month might be the only option, really. But while we're here, anyway, we'll have a look at the bakery and see if it has produced any more bread. I imagine there must be a bit more there. Now, I know that factory ran out of grain. It converted all of the grain into some good quality flour. And that was all sent over to the bakery. So, the factory at the minute is, well, derelict, I guess you could say. I'm not employing anyone in that factory. But the bread should still be going. The, the bakery should still be working hard for us. Now let's just connect this up to the front. It is really nice, you know, for a change to not have to get out and manually attach everything. I think I've said that before, but it, it's just nice. It's almost like a luxury. I think... Um, and there's four pallets of bread there. Look, that's not bad. Yeah, before I went into the world of PC, when I used to play on consoles only, I was always jealous of the fact that PC players got, well, two main mods. Super Strength. I always wished I had Super Strength when I played on console. Which, ironically, now I play on PC, I don't like using. So that's kind of funny. But the second thing was manual attach. I mean, it should just be something that's in the game for everyone. I do, I do feel that. Maybe that's one of those FS25 things that they've looked into. I'm sure they would have made some major improvements. Oh, go on, I nearly missed a turn in. But yeah, manual attach. It is something that, that everyone should be able to do. But, because I do it on every series, I'm actually the opposite now. I enjoy not having to use it. Now, I have... Uh, our tyre tracks or our track tracks are almost snowed over completely and we've only been to the shop and back. This this is insane. <laughs> this is insane. I know I've had some complaints before about snow. But yeah. Welcome to the real world, Rusey. I think this is a this is a whole new level now, isn't it? Even this John Deere with all this power is struggling. Right. Let's just see how this goes a minute. So lower it. Assume you just turn it on the same as anything else. And can you turn? Yeah. Pretty straightforward. 
let's turn that to the side. And let's just see how this... Oh, dear. Oh, no. This is as low down as it goes. And it is struggling. To <laughs> it can't move all the snow. This is so much snow. This is just so much snow. Wow. Right, let's lift that off the ground a minute. And let's turn that around. Look, it's fully it's fully raised off the ground and it's still picking up the snow. <laughs> right, let's turn it completely around. Yeah, it's literally I've not even lowered it. Right, let's try and do it back the other way now. So let's actually lower it. Right, I think I need to go a lot slower. Oh dear. Yeah, I, I anything I've said about snow before, I take back. I really do. This this is this is a whole nother level. I need a helper just to help me do this. And I've only got one tractor with the front loader. With the front attachments, I should say, sorry. Yeah. Um This is gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Right. There's no major reason why we have to do it either than just trying to be a little bit realistic, really. So we'll do this. We'll, we'll clear like a, a little pathway. And you know, in time for next year, I'm absolutely going to have to go for salting, aren't I? I'm just going to have to grit everything up. Right. Oh, it still picks it up backwards as well. That's handy. In fact, it does a better job in reverse. Don't know if it's supposed to. Yeah. I'm learning the hard way. Next year, absolutely needs to be gritted with salt first. Which, again, I've never had to do, you know. So, in a way, it's kind of exciting that I'll have to do that. So, we'll have to get a salt spreader. And we'll have to, well, just spray everything. This this is awful. I mean, how long have I been talking for now? I don't even know. I don't even know. What I do know is all I have done is cleared snow. Right, now, let's try not to chew up any chickens. That wouldn't be very PG, would it? I'd have to put like a, a violence warning on my monetization. Although, ironically, I'm actually going to cover the chickens in snow whilst I'm trying to clear them. Let's turn this the other way around. Wow. Wow. So anyway, just just talking normally while I do this kind of chore. There's a new game coming out soon. And I don't know, a lot of you may have seen it. I followed it for a little while. But I kind of lost hope. It was one of those games that was announced that looked amazing. But it was just taking them so long to actually do the job. To, to create the game. That I kind of thought maybe it was never going to happen. It was never going to happen. But... It is due out. It's due out this month, in fact. It's called Mana Lords. So if you haven't seen it, watch it. Watch a video on, on YouTube. The chap that I've mentioned before, the one who I watched doing a little bit of Mud Runner, uh, called Trevor Martin. It's an unusual way that he uh, pronounces his... Oh dear, what am I stuck on? I'm even stuck in the snow with a snowblower attached. Yeah, Trevor Martin. I'll see if I can find his YouTube name and I'll, I'll add it into the comments maybe. It's like a it's like a tab. There's a hashtag. But yeah, it's just... He's done a good little playthrough. He's obviously... You know, these bigger YouTubers. The ones that are up in the millions. They obviously get a little bit of special treatment from various developers. So he's had very, very early access to a game that's not even out yet. But I've been really enjoying the playthrough and it's... How, how would I describe the game? It's kind of like... 
it's kind of got that sort of Age of Empires type feel, that kind of god mode feel, where you're above, you're building a village. But the graphics of, you know, every modern day game is fantastic. The graphics look amazing. And, yeah, just kind of war aspects a bit like, I think Total War potentially is, is a game. I don't think I've played Total War, but I've seen some clips very similar to that where you can look at my fence. Just look at my fence. <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst I've ever seen snow. This is... I did not think, even when everyone was coming in to say, just you wait till the snow comes, I didn't think it would be this bad. Wow. I've never been able to bury a fence in snow before. Okay, right. Let's do the same here. This is just awful. Anyway, going back to Manor Lords, looks fantastic. Looks amazing. The release date is still an early access release date, by the way. But the release date is, I want to say, the 26th of this month. And I don't know, it might be an expensive game. The snow's piled up so high that like I've just easily drew it over my fence. Because this isn't a realistic series. Alright, come on. There we go. Yeah, so even then it's early access and this game's been in development now, I don't know. Maybe like three or four years. But it did start off as a solo developer. You know, someone who had a had an idea of what he fancied came up with the game and actually he stuck through with it right the way through, but now it's got to a point where he's been funded by I think Epic Games have been involved with some of the funding and it's turned into a big thing. This one single guy's idea which was a great idea has turned into I think it's it's currently known as Steam's most wish listed game ever I think it's the record holder it's got like a couple of million people on the wish list waiting to buy it so for that reason I imagine quite a lot of people have heard of it but yeah I think I think I will do a small playthrough series on that and it will be a different kind of series for me I do like to throw the odd game in here and there, as you know, but actually, oh, I didn't know I could do that. Well, that would have made more sense, wouldn't it? But yeah, I do like to throw in the odd different game here and there. The the Mud Runner Expeditions game, I've given up on, because it's just so frustrating, it infuriated me. And i just not played it since for a minute. I, I recorded the, the next episode after the last episode. And it was just hard work. And yeah, I flipped the vehicle a couple of times. And I, was, I wasn't using those jackhammers because I said they were kind of like cheating. And I regretted that. I thought I, I could have done with that now. Because if you get stuck, you've got to start the map again. It's pretty frustrating. But also, when I moved to a different map, it lost all my spare fuel I had. So, I actually ran out of fuel probably 50 yards in front of the objective. Which must have taken me an hour to do. And I could see it right in front of me, but I just couldn't get to it. I had no fuel. And it's just... You know, you think there'd be some leeway. I mean, realistically, you just get out of the car and walk to it. But it's not how the game works. So, yeah, that, that infuriated me. So much so, that like, I quit the game... I didn't save it, I quit it, and over an hour of footage I just deleted without even looking back at it. I just thought, nah, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. So if I do go back to it, I don't know if I will. It wasn't as enjoyable as I thought it might be. But if I do go back to it, I'll have to redo all of that again either way. So I'll just record it all again anyway. Right. Okay. Well, I've made some sort of progress there with realistically being able to get into our home which is good now that I realise I can shoot this snow a bit further I wonder if this would be a little bit better let's have a look there we go I 
this snow blower is just not up to this level of snow it's not up to it <laughs> I don't know if there is much that is up to it to be honest this is a whole new level it's a cool animation though it's a cool animation let's see if I can chuck this behind me that's as far as it will go right let's turn the snow around yeah I don't think realistically I should be thinking even considering mulching in this weather it might work the game may allow it to work and this isn't a realistic style series but there's got to be an element of real life isn't there yeah you, you just wouldn't mulch you just wouldn't mulch in this weather I don't think you'd do a lot I think what you'd probably do is stay in the house and stay in bed I think that's what I would do right let's throw it over there a bit I think if we go up and down this a few times oh dear this this <laughs> I'm not even making a dent this poor snow player is running at full power and it's barely even touching the surface <laughs> I'm actually going to set cruise control to one mile per hour and just leave it turned on there we go this is shocking I can't believe I'm having to do this <laughs> Oh, it does look cool though, doesn't it? It does look pretty cool. That animation is awesome. Well, nothing fast going on today. Nothing fast going on today. I think if I push it to 2 miles per hour, it'll be too much. This is working good though. Let's try 2. Okay, he's working. Oh, it's starting to not work now, isn't it? Let's go back to one. <laughs> well, this is a new experience for me. A new farming simulator experience, see? Doesn't matter how many thousands and thousands of hours you play on the game you learn something every time you play it <laughs> does rock salt mount the snow I mean in real life I guess it would do wouldn't it you'd put rock salt down but if I went and just spread rock salt down now would that help with the snow I don't know well we're not short of money but it just seems silly to waste waste money for no reason doesn't it Right, let's go back a bit closer. I don't think you can set cruise control in reverse, can you? Which is a shame. Although it does seem to work a bit faster in reverse. Let's jump out to this view. Well anyway, I hope you're enjoying this episode of Clearing the Snow Simulator. It's uh, very, very enjoyable, I must admit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, there we go, back to one more per hour. We'll go forward again. So I hope you've been watching Keep It Real anyway. I'm really enjoying that. I'm putting quite a bit of time into it at the minute. It is just, it's just enjoyable. Do you know, it's satisfying to see the way I started it, I started it as difficult as I could with kind of all of those additional mods which just made it very challenging and then added those little rules in which anyone can do, anyone can add their own rules in but it is just great to see what we've got now still debt, still a lot of debt on that series but quite a bit to show for it to be honest and yeah I mean it's pushing 50 episodes now it's 
a few more, I think, before I get to 50 episodes. And unlike 50 episodes in Saskatchewan, where you were ready to sell up and move to America, keep it real, you probably need to double that. Yeah. I'm, I'm still kind of wondering what the end game would be. What, what, What's the end game of keep it real? When do I know it's done? When do I start keep it real too? Which, by the way, you know me, I'm always thinking ahead. I've always got stories planned for story mode. I've always got maps planned for keep it real. Uh, and I'm I'm pretty certain what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go... Again, I, I like to always be in a different country. So for Keep It Real 2, and I'm not saying it's going to end, but for Keep It Real 2, I think it's going to be a Brazilian map. Because, yeah, I just... I've not done a Brazilian map, and I don't see that many people doing a Brazilian map. And I just think that would be quite cool. There is one map, I can't find it. If anyone knows which map it is, that would be amazing. But I've seen some people stream it. Uh, the people who stream it tend to be um, foreign. Foreign in the sense that I just, I'm not quite sure what they're saying. Obviously Google translates comments and things, but it isn't very good, is it? Google Translate is not that good at all. But, yeah. Um, it just looks very realistic. It's got loads of like wooden bridges um, and, and cliff sides where you've got to drive over bits of wood to get get over them. It just just looks very good. It looks like it would suit the keep it real kind of rules. You know, can I shoot this behind me? Mm, like directly behind me, I can't, can I? I feel if I shoot this directly up into the air it won't go onto the roof of that shed, would it? No. Right, let's just see what happens here a minute. Yeah, there we go. I can still get it far enough. Wow. This is a fun episode. Amazing. What have I been recording for so far? About 25 minutes, I'm gonna say, roughly, of talking and clearing snow. Sorry about that, I had to answer the phone very quickly. Yeah, forgot what I was talking about now. Riveting. What an absolutely riveting episode. Wonderful. I think if I do get any helpers, I'll skip forward a month. And no doubt, everything I've just done, this, this 20 minutes of clearing snow, will be worth absolutely nothing because we'll skip to the next month and it probably will be back again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So I'll quit sanity check. Has anyone messaged me to join? Not yet. I have only just posted it though to be fair. So and like I said it is a weird time to to catch people so early in the morning or early in the morning for me anyway. Probably better off really doing it at evening time when people finish work or yeah, the time difference, especially with uh, the Canadian, the Canadian guys, is probably a strange time. It's probably middle of night. Probably not even seen the message. Right. Um. Okay. Well, at least I can see some yard now. Look at it. Just look at this snow. I've never seen this much snow in my life, in real life. We don't get snow like that here, especially in Cornwall. We're, we're just surrounded by seaside everywhere. <laughs> My fence is there somewhere. There it is. <laughs> see how see how deep it is there. I've pretty much just cut through here. Wow. Is this what it's like? Is this what it's like over with you guys in in America? Or even in Canada, in in real life, this is—I've never seen anything like it. The chickens look happier, at least, anyway. And there's no uh, there's no sawn up chickens, which is good. That saved my uh, monetization limits. Right. Wow. I'm actually kind of stuck at what to do in this episode because 
This is not making a, a very riveting episode at all. Watching me do that at one mile per hour. As of yet, there's no helpers. Probably would have been fun to clear up some snow with helpers, you know. We could have got the little gator going. The little snow plow going. It would have been quite fun. But I don't want to continue doing this on my own. Producing the most boring episode of the series. So I think... I think we just skip a day. I think we just skip a day. What's the... um? What's the weather forecast? Right, March is due to rain. Okay, so rain hopefully gets rid of snow. Yeah. April then is sunny, a little bit cloudy, but sunny. But it is continuously snowing in February. Um, wow. Do you know, I made a comment before about what if I couldn't even plant but what was I thinking of doing I mean I've, I've done a little bit of research as well and it very much seems like Missouri is known for from a farming point of view for wheat winter wheat um, soybeans but we don't want soybeans that's no good because obviously we want to fill up our grain factory but also sorghum that, that's something that seems to be one of the kind of top producers again Someone who lives near there might know a little bit better, but that's what the uh, the database of Google tells me anyway. But I don't want to do sorghum again. I've already done sorghum once. But I might be stuck. That might be all I can do, to be honest, because if that snow doesn't melt in March, then we're already into April slash May just to get planting. And yeah, the the only, the only grain-related option I will have is sorghum. If we're lucky, we'll get some oat, Tim. If we are lucky. Wow. I don't know. I think we skip. I think we skip. Make an exception. Again, this is probably at about the half an hour point now. And I don't want the episode to last too long. But I need to do something. Rather than just snow. If you're watching this. Certainly if I put it down as a premiere. You probably chuckling to yourself if you played this map because I'm about to skip a day now aren't I and I bet it's going to be even worse again isn't it oh, I'm hoping not right before I skip what's in the shop okay no nothing that I need right let's uh where's that trigger where is it there it is let's skip forward one more day chickens have plenty of food I know they did because it wasn't that long ago I filled it was it well, it feels like a long time ago that I filled it, but in terms of actually playing this series, it wasn't very long at all. Now, come on. Oh, that's good. I see blue sky and no snow. I still see snow out there, though. Um, oh, it's... It's deeper. Oh, my... Goodness. Honestly. This is this is crazy. I'm sure that's got deeper. At least this area stayed clear though. We'll use our new access point. Maybe it might even put a little gateway in that fence, you know. That would be quite cool. Um Yeah, okay. Well it's stopped snowing and it's not covered up what we did, so at least that work wasn't wasted. That's always good. I bet the field is still absolutely covered. This would be a good measure of whether it got any worse. I don't know, you know. Maybe maybe it stayed the same. I just I I feel like this is deeper again. I feel like this is even deeper. Honestly. Yeah, next year, 100% salting. Absolutely. And I need to get it planted rather than leaving myself so short. Can I plant in winter? Yeah, see, look, the winter wheat there, so September, October, November, I need to be getting wheat in this time next year. So I'm going to be cutting it close. At least if I do manage to get the oat in, I can harvest the oat by August. 
and then plant the wheat in September, October. That That's the way to go. So at least I have a plan for the future. Just got to do my best to get the oat in. Mm. Right. You shop. Oh, a lot more in here today. Now that's interesting. Is that the one that we already own? Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look fancy? 134,000. Which one do we own? A way, way cheaper version. The other one looks cooler. But I'm not at a point where I need two. Certainly not. And also, this looks cool, doesn't it? Articulated. I think I feel like this is the map to get into articulated stuff. Not something that's going to cost 174,000. However, this this is what I've been planning for a while, and I don't want to go for tracked because we've got a tracked tractor. Got a bit of a tongue twister. Yeah, we've already got a tractor with tracks, so I don't want to have too many. But this is cool. This is cool. It's case. I'm assuming that's kind of in the area of Missouri. Yeah. And it's only 69900 Now, this is what we're going to get. I am going to have a bit of a fiddle. Because I do feel that... Yeah, so, some of these do look better with wider wheels. That doesn't look too bad. For a minute, yeah. I think something like that. Because we can go wider. We can continue to upgrade this. We have, of course, got our own workshop. But I, I just quite like that. Monitor, honestly, make any difference? I mean, it must do something. I don't know. What's a quick hitch? Oh, it doesn't have a three point. Do I need a three point? Okay. Well, that just adds a three point to it, doesn't it? I don't think I need a three point. Yeah. I'm going to get that just as it is. We can change it anyway. No biggie. But I'm going to get that. I'm going to buy that. Why has it gone up in price? Um, okay. To that, yeah, that's because I've got the, the wider tyres on it. That's fine. 72,400. Let's buy it. At least I've done something in this episode. Hopefully this, <laughs> this might give me an excuse to create a half-decent thumbnail. Right, we're going to buy that. Can you imagine if I was to just spend 70 grand just like that in that Keep It Real series? It wouldn't happen, would it? It'd never happen. Now, also, while we're in the, the spending mood, let's go into here. The, this is my, my second plan. So, I'm going to get this kind of pull behind or pull between type. Uh, cultivator with a seed drill all fitted together. I think it just looks cool. Now it's a little bit weird because some some of these don't actually fit the other ones. I did test them. They all look like they've got a rear trailer hitch on both types but only some of them work with the other one. But what I actually want is the one that pulls the cultivator in the middle and then the seed drill at the back which you'd kind of suggest it would be the pool between but I just feel like I tested it and actually this one wasn't the pool between one it's like the description was wrong yeah see that's got no hoses at the back of it whereas if the Yeah, if the seed drill is going to be trailed behind it, it needs the attachments at the back of it. I, I have a funny feeling that the pull between or pull behind is referring to where the drill is, not the particular cultivator. Because I did test it and it was just odd. It didn't make sense. I'm pretty sure the pull behind means you're pulling the seed 
tank, the actual the actual main motor, I guess, behind the cultivator, rather than pull the cultivator behind that. It's a bit of a risk, isn't it? I can tweak it if it's wrong. Right, do these make any difference whatsoever? Not really. We'll keep it skinny. So we're going to buy that. And I think it was the one that was actually lesser. Yeah, so for the same money, this one has actually got 11,220 litre capacity. So you think, that's the one, that sounds good. That's the one to go for. But again, when I was testing it, I believe this was actually the one that fitted properly. Oh, again, I'm just going to have to risk it, aren't I? Right, we don't need that, I don't think. I'm sure this is the one. Oh dear. Well, I've done it now. It's too late, isn't it? Right, let's park up this tractor. We'll keep the snow blower attached for a minute because we may still need it. Oh, this, this snow is insane. Absolutely insane. Right. This isn't a series where I have to be worried about walking everywhere or calling a taxi. It's quite nice to be able to jump between. I like this, by the way. I like it. And I also like that it's all matching in colour. A little bit of red on the farm. Okay. Did I, did I get it right? Did I get it right? Fingers crossed. I do also need to buy some seed, don't I? Oh, I'm glad this is not a dolly. I do believe the one at the back is a dolly, though. Which isn't ideal. Good. So it's connected up properly, anyway. Um, what does it hold seed-wise? It actually holds fertiliser as well. But I'm not going to do fertiliser. We'll do that separate. So let's get a couple of bags of seed, shall we? Yeah, because I don't think I've got seed already. Got plenty of lime, but no seed. Um, what do we go for? Go for six, because the capacity showing ten thousand or eleven thousand or whatever it showed is actually referring to including the fertilizer as well so it doesn't actually hold 11,000 litres of seed so hopefully this would about fill it this is this is some piece of equipment this is isn't it right is this gonna work yeah it's picking up some oh dear it's only just close enough to get one of them though. Please don't make me re <laughs> don't don't make me reverse this. Let's just do a 360 in such a way that I can get that drill close to the bags. Good job this is a quiet road. Doing donuts in the uh, the parking lot with an articulated tractor. Good, right, let's get this topped up. Yeah, I think six bags was a good guess, you know. Complete fluke, but it's about right. I think a seventh bag, it would have only took half of it. And of course, that's why we've got the, the decent pickup truck. We can always pop back to the shop. And buy another bag if we need to. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it. Leave it at 6,000. Right, let's head on back. This is this is cool. This is really cool. I've never used anything like this. Not even in FS19. Not in FS17. Was there anything like this in FS17? I can't remember actually. Yeah, this is quite cool. I'm going to be excited to use this in a month's time, hopefully. 
we're lucky it might even melt in this one this is certainly a wide load isn't it let's get these beacons going mind you if you need a beacon to see this coming then I think maybe something might be wrong with your eyesight but doesn't an articulated track deck give you one heck of a tight turning circle doesn't it right I don't want to go too tight around here though Oh, I like this. Proper old school. It doesn't like the snow. <laughs> it really doesn't like the snow. Well, it's great to be back. One thing's for sure. This does not have top speed but like the other one <laughs> anyway right I'm gonna have to rethink about how I'm gonna park this aren't I I can't be reversing the dolly back into one of these shouters and actually uh, yeah maybe maybe just here where there's mounds and mounds of snow Maybe I put like a drive-through shed. Because potentially a, the Mac doing a full turn in circle would still be able to to turn around. Yeah. I think that might be the option. Now, I'm actually stuck in the snow. I actually can't move. Can I move? Can I move? Come on. There we go. I had to jump to that tractor just to get out. That's shocking. Wow. What a setup, though. What a setup. That is cool. I like it. I can't wait to use it, actually. I really can't. I think we're probably done for this episode. Apologies, it's been... Well, probably a little bit boring. Actually, maybe it was enjoyable for you watching me struggle with all of this white stuff. Yeah, but some of you would find that quite funny, in fact. But at least we've done something. We've come away with something. We've still got 53,000. What did I say there was? There's four pallets of bread there. Even when they don't sell at best price, they're not bad. You know, they're, they're still pushing 5,000 a pallet. So there's a good 20 grand's worth of bread there already. That's going to be a really good income, by the way. I've said it before, but bread is it's just the way to go. It's just the way to go. Right. Amazing. I'm going to set this up for a nice little thumbnail, I think. Just so that the, the white stuff doesn't put too many of you off. But that's it for now. So thanks for watching. Yeah, I think the next episode, we're probably going to be skipping forward into April. So I've kind of cheekily skipped forward a whole month. But there isn't really much we can do. Other than making sure the chickens are alright. There isn't a great deal to do. And... Yeah, learn from my mistakes. Next year, I will not have this problem. Well, I will, but not as bad. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll probably get after this one, hopefully, I'll get another Keep It Real out. Because, again, I am enjoying that. But then I'll try and put some effort into getting the roleplay story mode. If I can, I'll do a double whammy weekend again. But don't expect too much Travascus. And don't expect too much Terry. Well, thank you for watching, and until that next episode, cheers and gone.